Hello everyone, this is Karina. Welcome back to my channel. So spring is springing in full force right now. I'm so excited to be sitting down and doing a Zara try on haul with you guys. I think the last time I did a Zara haul was like close to half a year ago. I've been seeing so many cute items on Zara's website lately for their spring drops. Cannot wait to show you what I got. As you can probably tell by today's outfit, I'm very much into the whole rich girl, quiet luxury, timeless and classy, but with a twist of trendiness. First thing, I cannot wait to show you guys this corset. Is this called a corset? Or you can call it like a tube top or a button down vest. In case you guys are new to my channel, I will be linking every single thing I'm wearing in this video, including the Zara pieces and also my sit down outfit down in the description box below. So if you click on more and more, one more time, you're gonna see everything linked there along with the sizes that I'm wearing as well as the prices. It's a structured material and it's double lined on the inside with buttons as well as the flaps here with the pockets are also satin. Are these real pockets? I don't think they're real pockets. Oh my goodness, would you look at this? Are you guys looking at this? This is so gorgeous. We're just gonna pop on some accessories and then we're gonna go in with our ultimate rich girl accessory, which is these Celine Sunnies. I'm feeling a Chanel moment because why not? Okay, I'm feeling like a trillion bucks in this outfit. What do you guys think? And as much as I love this top, I will only rate it a nine out of 10. I'm gonna minus one point because I feel like it's constantly slipping down my chest. However, I feel like this is a me problem though, because if you don't belong in the IBTC, then you have no problem in this top. Okay, you guys all know I love my retail therapy and I advocate for it as much as the next girl out there. Sometimes adding a new item into your wardrobe or doing a wardrobe refresh is a great way for a mental reset as well but that's not the only kind of therapy i advocate for as most of you guys probably know by now i keep things very lighthearted on this channel or as fun as i try to keep things to be but that doesn't mean that i don't struggle with mental health i've never really talked about this and opening up to you guys because number one is very very uncomfortable for me to open up like that's just ingrained into my personality and number two, I don't want to be like dumping my burdens onto you guys. For example, you guys would not believe the amount of imposter syndrome that I struggle with almost on a daily basis. I've been doing YouTube for about six, seven years now, and you would think that it gets easier over time, right? No, nope, it's actually the complete opposite for me. The more videos I film, the more pressure I feel to come up with something that nobody has ever seen before or that everyone will like and love. No matter how good my videos are doing on a numbers basis, I just feel like sometimes I'm not always meeting everyone's expectations and that can be really hard on me mentally. Like I get comments from you guys asking me to do a back to school lookbook or a back to college outfits video and I do one and then I get comments like this. Or the fact that you guys view me as a like style expert of some kind, but I'm really not like I don't have all the answers. I'm just sharing this to let you know that it's important to know that no one is immune to mental health struggles, no matter how structured or picture perfect their life might seem from the outside. Which brings me to today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform and truly one of the most affordable and convenient ways for you guys to get the help that you need. No more waiting for weeks and months and tons of referrals just to get your first appointment set up. They'll connect you with a professional usually within 48 hours. And the best part is you don't even have to leave your house. Like they'll connect you with a licensed therapist with years of experience. You can have therapy right from your phone or a laptop just via phone calls or video chats. Or if you're like me and you're extremely introverted and shy to just talk to someone, you can even do it via messaging. So whatever works for you. If you feel like this is something that can either remotely help you in any way, make sure you visit betterhelp.com slash Karina for a special discount on your first month. Okay, are you guys even surprised I have myself a little boucle jacket slash cardigan. In this video, I mentioned that boucle jackets are one of the must-haves personally for myself during the springtime, just because some days, you never know, it might feel like winter in the morning and like scorching summer in the afternoon and then fall in the evening time and then straight back to winter at nighttime. So you can never really go wrong with something like a boucle jacket or a cardigan, just something that you can have to provide the extra layer of warmth. So this is a creamy button-down cardigan. It doesn't feel as smooth and soft as some of the other cardigans I have. I love the gold trim buttons down 
here in the middle. It's just so delicate and intricate. So this cardigan works perfectly as a top like I'm wearing right now. I'm not wearing anything on the bottom and I can tell you that it's not scratchy. This entire outfit is so rich girl coded. I cannot, if you guys want to emulate this kind of like fashion energy, definitely grab this cardigan because I don't think you can get any more rich girl than this. Paired it with my Pauline bag and also these Tony Bianco mules. Every single time I wear these, I get questions on where they're from. They are so Chanel coated, but with a modern twist. So they are kitten heels, extremely easy to walk in. I would have preferred if these ones came in a sling bag, so it's even easier to walk in, but I'm not complaining. Like it's equally comfy and I love, love the pointy toe. And they have little bows on the side, which I can't, it's so coquette. Coquette? What, how do you even pronounce that word? Coquette, coquette. This is a pleated skirt. There's a kind of shorts underneath here, which you guys can see, but it's very much like, kind of like a see-through cotton fabric or what I call like inner lining shorts. So they're not actually like a pair of shorts on the inside. And this is an extra small, it's an extra small. It's an extra small, but it just look really, really big. I think it's supposed to be low rise, which I'm not loving. As expected, I am not a fan. It is way, too low rise as someone with a long torso i do not appreciate this i think for those of you who are blessed with short torsos and extra long legs maybe this is something that you guys can go for in terms of the shorts they do look like shorts so it's true they are a skirt and this set actually doesn't look bad on its own i just think you have to have the right body proportions to pull off something like this okay this one feels and looks so much better this is a high rise Skort. Oh, okay, so this one comes with actual skort on the bottom. That's the same material as this outer layer here. So you know that it's not just like a tissue paper, kind of like fake shorts lining on the inside. But it is unlined though. You can see like all the seams and stuff on the inside. So I'm not sure if this is going to be see-through. I feel like this top and this skirt is a match made in freaking heaven because look how perfect everything flows. Even the colors match more beautifully than the other pleated one. And it looks like a skirt while being shorts. I don't know why I would just whisper that. I'm just so excited. From the back, it is a full on short. It is purely your preference. Some prefer the ones where they have another layer of skirting. I really think this is a very classy old money type of outfit, but with a trendy twist. And I also love the fact that it sits right at my belly button. Is this see-through though? Let me check. Okay, a little bit. You guys see the ridges right here? Oh my god, these jeans <laughs> look like they won't even fit my seven year old. I got it in a size 25, which is a zero. And that's usually my size when I'm shopping for denim or jeans on Zara. And it doesn't even say 25 here. Like, can someone explain? These series of numbers to me right now, I'm so confused. It's a 32 euro, zero USA, and a 22 mix. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this, is no way it's gonna fit. I cannot believe I actually did it. I actually had to stretch this so hard in order to get it past my hips and up my waist. This is just a PSA. If you grab these exact pants from Zara and ended up not being able to fit into it, this is not on you. Definitely not that pizza you ate earlier. It is 100% on Zara and there weird sizing differences. Okay, so once it's on, it's actually on the longer side. So these kitten heels actually work amazing with the length of these jeans. And I also quite like the flare going on. All in all, I would say this is a great pair of jeans. I will have to say that I'm quite impressed with the elasticity because that did not look like it was gonna fit me at all, but somehow it did. If you're into these, just make sure you size up, size up. Okay, this one is another, oh my God. This is a 32 euro, double zero USA and 22 mix. But this is another one that I got a 25 on a site for. And it's so inconsistent. Like over here, it says a zero for USA, but then at the back, it says a double zero for the USA size. So which one is it? Okay, another miracle. Didn't think these jeans would fit me, but not only do they fit me, they make my proportions look so good and so balanced. I think it's a keeper. I usually have my bum bum shaped like the floor. Somehow managed to make them have a curvature of some sort. What do you guys think? 
I need something to visually shorten my torso and elongate my legs because that is a huge, huge insecurity of mine. And everything down from the high-waistedness to the design and the length of these jeans, I feel like are absolutely perfect. Checks all my boxes and what I'm looking for in a pair of straight leg jeans. And then of course, we got ourselves some pants. So this one is a kind of taupey, kind of muted gray color slacks. I think this one would be great for my office girlies or when you are just wanting to look presentable but still like casual and trendy at the same time this reminds me a lot of the effortless pants dear zara please work on your sizing inconsistencies those jeans from earlier were a complete success these pants here are a complete flop like look at this I think it's supposed to sit low rise, but it does have a really high inseam here. So I'm guessing it's supposed to sit around here. The material feels so smooth and soft and it's quite amazing considering that it's pleated, but it's not losing its structure. It is, however, not lined. And this one is a linen pants that I cannot wait to wear because summer's coming and I know a lot of you guys are going on vacation. Nothing better than walking around exploring a new city or a new area with some linen pants. This one feels light and breathable, cooling and breezy. They feel really scratchy. For something that is a linen blend, I was expecting something a little bit more, I don't know, smoother. If you have sensitive skin, or if you just prefer your pants to be on the smoother, softer side, I would say skip these. I got some of my linen pieces from Dynamite and oh my God, let me tell you the quality is amazing. And they are double lined and at the same time, they're not scratchy. So I got a blue cover up. This one is also 100% linen. Again, something that's very versatile for spring and summertime, especially for capsule wardrobe. This color is a really beautiful one for summertime. Also a white or a beige or even a straw striped one would be great. Okay, it feels similar to these pants. So they're not identical. I feel like the shirt is a little bit more smoother than these pants. I would like to hear from you guys where you source your linen pieces that you absolutely love and feels absolutely amazing in your skin down in the comments below. And then I got a satin dress, kind of like a muted satin material with little intricate designs of flower drawings. And it is so lightweight. This would be perfect for, again, any vacation beach outings or any fancy dinners because I feel like when you're wearing this, it's the equivalent of not wearing anything because it's just that lightweight. Are you kidding me? Zara, this is a stunning dress. This dress has a little halter neck going on and the bag is my absolute favorite. Look at it. There's a little crisscross design here and I absolutely love the open back. I feel like this would be so great as a vacation dinner dress. Basically anywhere that you need to go to feel your absolute best, your most stunning self, this is the dress that you're gonna wear. Oh my gosh, even top of line. I call it like a contrast trim, very Chanel inspired piece with the top here of the collar and the sleeve cuffs here being in black. It feels very flowy and airy and you can even see the buttons here. So dainty and cute. Kind of matches my earring today. This dress feels really cooling and it's really breezy because it's kind of like a t-shirt dress. It can really be dressed up or down. But it does give you a really European effortless kind of look. Like you look really Put together without trying too hard in case you feel like there's something missing from this outfit you can feel free to add a belt it still adds that visual dimension and it kind of visually cinches in your waist this time i'm just going to go in with my patent sling bags and it just feels like this instantly makes the outfit look more put together and intentional rather than just laid back and casual. So I feel like this is one of those outfits that will have people guessing like, did you spend $200 on this outfit? Did you spend $2,000 or did you spend $20? This is the LBD cut and design of the season, if not of the year. I've been seeing so many of these LBDs lately with the classic boat neck trim, a little waist cinch and a little bit of a flare, not too much. One word popped into my mind and that's Audrey. She is very famous for wearing necklines just like this one. While she's usually in longer pieces that comes down to her ankles, I feel like this mini dress is a perfect 
modern take on a classical piece. The only thing that I dislike about this is, do you guys see how if I turn around, you'll see that the neckline is really weird. It's always popping up and evenness going on here. So it's not body hugging, but at the same time, it very, very nicely accentuates your figure around this area with a little slight flare down here. I think this would look absolutely gorgeous and amazing no matter what body type you have. If you want a mini LBD that can stand the test of time, this is it. Not to mention it's perfect for basically any occasion out there, like a wedding, a shower, dinner, a work event, a vacay, getting the groceries, getting the mail, taking out garbage, like you name it, you'll look great doing it in this dress. Lastly, we have a maxi jumper. No, not jumper, what's this called? Jumpsuit. So if you know me, I don't typically go for jumpsuits much, but this one really caught my eye. I'm super into the micro pleats on the bottom here of the pants. I think it looks so smart and elegant. Also, oh my god, the belt just slapped me in the face. Also comes with a belt. And the top here has this kind of like vesty design again. I'm just making up words here. Vesty, you guys know what I mean. And at the back is a zipper closure. As much as I really wanted to like it, I feel like it's giving a little Aladdin on me. I don't know, is it the pants? I feel like these pleated pants are not doing this jumpsuit justice because it's not straight, first of all, and it falls kind of all over the place. Part of the leg is clinging on to my bum bum and my leg and there's static all over and it's just wavy so it's not looking good. The top looks really amazing. I gotta give it to them. So the belt really does add a little something to tie in the entire suit together with pants. If they sell the top separately, individually, I would definitely grab the top but not the pants. Guys, stay away from these pants. What even are these? It's a complete WTF moment for me. Okay, so let me know which item is your favorite from today's haul. Don't forget to check the description box for all the links and for better help. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.